Hey guys, Spins in here from Allen and Heath, and today on Zone Quick Tips, learn how to configure the Zone 23C to use its built-in audio interface with Tractor Timecode Vinyls. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you've disconnected everything from the mixer and you've got it on a clean, flat work surface. Make sure there's no power at all in the mixer. Uh, I suggest having a little tray or a cup to put the screws in as you take them out. You're going to need the two jumpers that came shipped with your 23C. If you haven't already, make sure you have those and you're gonna need a T8 Torx screwdriver. First thing you need to do is remove the three screws holding in the RCAs and the eight screws holding the panel in. Uh, then you have to remove the screw holding the headphone PCB board in. And once you've taken that out, the faceplate will be loose, but you need to remove the little screw holding in the PCB board for the headphone jack. Once you've removed that, you can slide the faceplate off. Find the two white jacks on the top board and fit the jumper into it. Now the jumper only fits in one direction, so make sure that you have it facing the right way. The important thing is to connect the jumper from the top right on the top board to the left on the bottom board and the left on the top board to the right on the bottom board. You should see a crisscross pattern with the cables like this when you're done. Next, you wanna reassemble the mixer starting by putting the headphone PCB screws back in, then the eight screws on the faceplate and the three screws holding in the RCA jacks. Now you wanna connect your turntables to the phono inputs of the 23C, making sure that the white connector goes into the left input and the red connector goes into the right input. This is very important when using timecode vinyl. Next, connect a USB cable to the back of the 23C and then finally the power port. If you haven't already, head on over to allen-heath.com, download and install the drivers for your Mac or PC system. Once you've got that, go ahead and connect the 23C to your computer and open up Tractor. Make sure that the audio device is set to the 23C. In the Output Routing tab, set Mixing Mode to External and make sure that Output Deck A is Outs 1 and 2 and Output Deck B is Outs 3 and 4. Then head on over to the Input Routing tab and set the inputs to Deck A as 1 and 2 and the inputs to Deck B as 3 and 4. You should be able to see metering now on the control panel here if you put the needle on the record. Next, head on over to the timecode setup panel and make sure that inputs A and B are set to scratch control. Finally, load a track into your desired deck and put the needle on the record. And that's all there is to setting up the Zone 23C to use the built-in audio interface with the Tractor timecode vinyls. Hope you guys enjoyed that Zone quick tip. Be sure to let us know in the comments what you want to see next. And of course, click that subscribe button to stay up to date with the latest zone happenings. Until next time.